So in this episode of showing 5th graders that science is cool, we will be busting the myth that heavier objects fall faster than light objects, under certain circumstances. So here's my question to you. What will fall faster? A shoebox filled with a brick? Or a shoebox filled with feathers? Heavier objects will fall faster. I think that heavy objects fall faster. Yeah, I think the same for heavy objects fall faster. Mm. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say heavier. Well, it depends on the object. I'd say that heavier objects usually <laughs> fall down quicker, faster. I don't think they fall the same because the gravitational force is the same. Same. Heavy objects are lighter on the Heavier objects. Heavier objects fall faster. Time to test it out in the lab. Now we will test two bottles that are identical. One filled with water and the other one filled with no water. One obviously being a lot heavier than the other one. So which one will fall faster? Three, two, one. Wow. Now in slow motion. Human errors that could have also affected our test is our reaction time. When we drop the bottles, they're never gonna drop at exactly the same time. However, at this level, it's not gonna make a big difference because the results are very similar. So in conclusion, any two objects fall at the same speed. However, at the start of the video, I said it only happens at certain circumstances. This circumstance being, as I've also mentioned, is air resistance. One example would be this piece of paper. It falls very slowly. However, if I crumple it up and drop it, the same piece of paper will fall a lot faster. Faster. It falls very slowly. <laughs> air resistance is basically the pressure applied to you due to the air. Have you ever tried biking against the wind? It's obviously harder because of air resistance. Okay, in outer space there is no air resistance, so any object will fall at the same speed. On Earth, where there is air resistance, it depends on the shape. The bigger something is, the more air resistance it has. The smaller, the less. However, at our small scale experiments, this will not make a big difference. So going back to our first question, let's find out what the answer is. First of all, the bricks. Wow. Feathers. Now in slow motion. Another error that could have happened during our box experiment was the wind, as it was very windy. Since the box of feathers was very light, it could have blown it to the side, which would have altered our experiment slightly. Nick busted!